What if I told you about a woman whose life story could not only alter your perception of reality, but also bridge worlds apart with the wisdom of ancient practices? A narrative so captivating it merges the mystical with the tangible, inviting us into a realm where the sacred dances with the profane. Welcome to our journey through the life of Maria Sabina, the priestess of mushrooms, a figure whose legacy transcends the mountains of Mexico and whispers truths into the heart of the world's collective consciousness. In the heart of the Sierra de Oaxaca, within the small town of Huautla de Jimenez, was born a figure destined to leave an indelible mark on the tapestry of Mexican indigenous culture and the broader realms of spiritual exploration. Maria Sabina Magdalena Garcia, known affectionately and reverently as the Priestess of Mushrooms, emerged from a lineage rich with shamans. Her early years were steeped in the traditions and ceremonies of her people, the Mazatec, who recognized the sacred in the natural world around them. It was at the tender age of eight that Maria Sabina first encountered the Holy Children, the hallucinogenic mushrooms that would become both her tool and her teacher in the spiritual voyages she would later guide. The Mazatec people, among whom Maria Sabina lived and practiced, had long revered a particular species of fungi, the Mexican Celesibi, which thrived in the unique climate of their mountainous home. These mushrooms were not mere flora, they were keys to unlocking realms beyond the physical, conduits through which the veil between the earthly and the divine could be momentarily lifted. Through the ritualistic consumption of these fungi, Maria Sabina facilitated journeys of healing and discovery, guiding those who sought her out on profound spiritual expeditions to confront and cure their ailments, whether of body or of soul. The night was Maria Sabina's canvas, and under the cloak of darkness, surrounded by the symphony of the Sierra, she painted experiences of transcendence for those who came to her. Her ceremonies were intricate tapestries woven from the threads of Mazatec chants, the aromatic haze of tobacco smoke, the warmth of mezcal, and the healing touch of medicinal plant ointments. It was in these nocturnal gatherings that the physical and spiritual worlds intertwined, guided by the stars and the steady, ancient rhythm of Sabina's voice. The outside world would eventually come calling, drawn by whispers of a healer who could navigate the spaces between worlds. Among the first to seek her out was Robert Gordon Wasson, an American with a profound interest in the ethno-botanical relationships that indigenous peoples had with plants particularly those of a hallucinogenic nature. Guided by Maria Sabina, Wasson and his wife would partake in the veladas, documenting their experiences and bringing the priestess of mushrooms into the global spotlight through a groundbreaking article in Life magazine. This exposure would usher in an era of fascination and pilgrimage to Huautla de Jimenez, marking a turning point in Sabina's life and in the cultural interchange between her world and that of the West. Wasson's subsequent publication, The Wondrous Mushroom, Mycolatry in Mesoamerica, would further cement Maria Sabina's place in the pantheon of figures significant to the psychedelic and spiritual exploration of the 20th century. The book arrived at a moment when the United States was ripe with a generation in search of meaning beyond the material, and Sabina's story resonated deeply with the ethos of the hippie movement. Her ceremonies, once the sacred domain of her community, now beckoned to souls across the globe, hungry for connection and enlightenment. Yet with fame came the erosion of sanctity, and the commodification of the sacred. The influx of seekers, many driven more by curiosity than reverence, strained the fabric of the Mazatec community and the very traditions Maria Sabina had devoted her life to preserving. Her practice, once the intimate domain of spiritual healing, was now a spectacle, drawing in a cacophony of media, tourists, and celebrities. 
This shift would cast a shadow over the later years of her life, complicating her legacy and highlighting the delicate balance between sharing culture and exploiting it. Maria Sabina's story is a tapestry of paradoxes, a life that was both a gift and a burden, offering healing and connection while also opening the door to misunderstanding and appropriation. It invites us to reflect on the dynamics of cultural exchange, the ethics of spiritual tourism, and the ways in which sacred practices are consumed by modern societies. Her legacy, while marred by controversy, also serves as a beacon, illuminating the depth and richness of indigenous knowledge and the potential for true healing that lies in respectful engagement with these traditions. In the figure of the healer, the Mesoamerican world found a pivotal character, a bridge between the human and the divine. Maria Sabina, in her essence, embodied this role, serving not only her community, but also offering the world a glimpse into the profound spiritual landscapes navigated by the Mazatec people. Through her, we are reminded of the power of the sacred, the potential of the human spirit to transcend the confines of the material world, and the importance of approaching such journeys with humility and respect. As we contemplate Maria Sabina's journey, her ceremonies, and the worlds she navigated, we are invited to consider the larger questions of spirituality, healing, and the intersection of cultures. Her story is a reminder of the enduring search for meaning that transcends time and place, urging us to explore the depths of our own souls and the mysteries of the universe with an open heart and a reverent spirit. Maria Sabina's enduring allure lies not just in the mystique of her ceremonies or the controversy of her legacy, but in the timeless quest for connection and understanding that her story represents. As we navigate our own paths seeking enlightenment in a world often devoid of mysticism, her life serves as both a warning and an inspiration, urging us to approach the sacred with the reverence it demands and to find the divine within and around us. In reflecting on Maria Sabina's impact, we are compelled to confront the complex dynamics of cultural appropriation, the ethical dilemmas of spiritual seeking, and the responsibilities we bear when engaging with traditions not our own. Her story challenges us to consider how we honor the wisdom of indigenous peoples, how we preserve the integrity of sacred practices, and how we navigate the fine line between appreciation and exploitation. As we draw this journey to a close, let us ponder the lessons embedded in the life of Maria Sabina, the priestess of mushrooms. Her story is a call to mindfulness, a reminder of the depth and sanctity of ancient wisdom, and an invitation to approach the sacred spaces of this world with humility, respect, and an open heart. It is a testament to the power of healing, the richness of cultural heritage, and the enduring quest for spiritual connection and understanding. In the legacy of Maria Sabina, we find not just the story of a woman, but a reflection of humanity's eternal search for meaning, healing, and connection. As we navigate the complexities of our own times, may we carry forward the lessons of her life with grace and reverence, honoring the sacredness of all paths that lead us closer to the divine. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the mystical journey of Maria Sabina. May her story inspire you to seek deeper understanding, to approach the world with wonder and respect, and to cherish the connections that bind us to each other and to the earth itself. Your presence on this journey has been a gift, and for that, I am profoundly grateful. Until we meet again, may your paths be filled with light, love, and the endless pursuit of wisdom.